Yo, what's up guys? It's your most favorite potato back here with another scratch tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be learning how to make a main menu inside of scratch. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, right now I just have this player, right, um that you can just move around to represent our game, right? And it just uses like very very simple movement. So, yeah. And this uh, code right here, we don't want it to start like as soon as we click the green flag because we want the menu to show up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into events and drag out a when I receive and then click new message and then click game start. When I receive game start and then drag all of this code into here. So none of this is actually going to start. Also, we also want to hide our player. So it doesn't show up at the beginning of the game. Nice. So in the backdrop section here, I've already made just a very, very simple backdrop. It's just like a gray screen, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, in the one green flag clicked, we're going to switch backdrop to backdrop one. So backdrop one is the gray backdrop um, for me. Nice. So now we're going to paint a new sprite, call it game title, and now just title the game, you know, just like whatever you're going to call your game. Uh, I'll call it like main menu, right? Because <laughs> I, I really don't know what to call it. All right, I'll just keep the font the same. Um, and... Alright, so in the game title now, in the code section, we're going to do when game flag clicked, show, and then let's make it go to, like, up on the top left here. So go to, and then whatever these coordinates are, negative 79, 126, right? And I think we can make it a little bigger. So I'll just set the size to, like, 1... 125 let's see how that goes um and okay that is good except that ruins our placement it makes it like go to the edge so we just have to change our coordinates back and bam that is our title right now um create another spray and call it play button boom play button and now I'm just going to make this like a, just a square, okay, a rectangle actually. And I'm actually going to add text that says play, but I'm going to make it the like, same color as the background. So like, the background is 0, 0, 16, color 0, saturation 0, and brightness 16. Right, so I'm just going to change the text to that same color. Boom. And go like that. And now, this looks like a very, very clean, very clean uh, main menu so far. So, uh, inside of the play button, right? I'll do when green flag clicked, forever, uh, and then drag out an if else, and then put in a touching mouse pointer, right? If touching mouse pointer, then we'll set the size to 115, else we'll just set the size to 100, and now, whenever you hover over the play button, it grows a little bigger. Nice. Alright, so now, let's also go into events, and drag out a when this sprite clicked. So when this sprite is clicked, we're going to broadcast game start. And, boom. Um, we have broadcasted, ga broadcasted game start, but nothing actually happens right now. Because, in our player script, in the player sprite, 
uh, we can we don't show the player when we do when I receive game start. So we're just gonna drag out a show in here, and boom, our player gets shown. But the main menu is still active, and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and go into game title. Do when I receive game start. Hide. And then same thing for the play button. So when I receive game start. Then we can just hide. Boom. So now we click play. And uh, one more thing we forgot to do is change the background, right? So I'll also just do when I receive game start inside of the player. We'll switch the backdrop to backdrop 2. Oh, okay. Here's another problem. When you click the green flag, now the play button doesn't show. So let's go ahead and add a show here. And boom. So we could, we could click play. And there we go. We get taken right to our game. Nice. But um, let's add a few more buttons. So I'm just going to duplicate the play button. And call it settings button. Boom. Now I'm going to put the settings. Oh, I accidentally clicked it. So I'm going to put the settings button like right down here. And change this text to settings like that. Nice. And then we're just going to have the same thing over here except for broadcast game start we're gonna ch uh turn this into settings menu right and now what we can also do is duplicate this when i receive game start hide and turn this into when i receive settings menu and then just drag this into the play button and the game title so now when we click settings, everything disappears. And let's go ahead, paint a new sprite, call it settings menu title, I guess. I'm just going to copy the game title, paste it into here, and then call it settings. Boom. And then I'll do one green flag clicked, hide, when I receive, settings menu, will show, uh, we'll make it go to, like, at the very top here, and I'll change its size to 125 as well. Boom, so we could click settings and then we uh, come up to the settings menu. But now we also have to have a way to go back from the settings menu. So let's also, let's go ahead and duplicate the settings button. Call it the exit button, right? Um, and then just change it, change the text to back. So it says back. Boom. And now, so, um, we're going to go ahead and, instead of the when the sprite clicked, we're going to go ahead and type in menu. And then we'll just do when I receive settings menu instead of hide, we'll do a show. And then in the when if I clicked, we'll do a hide. Right. But this button is not in, like, a good place right now. So, I'll just go ahead and put it, like, down here. Boom. And now, we can play our game. Or, go into settings. Go, but, okay. So, we can't go back right now because we forgot to code the menu part. So, let's go ahead and do, and go into game title. Do when I receive... Oh, not a comment. Do when I receive um menu, then we'll show. 
right put same goes to the play button and the settings button and now we click settings we click back okay uh settings and back are still showing we have to add a when i receive menu then hide to both of these boom and now we got ourselves we could play play the game or we could go to settings and then you could put like a bunch of settings here like a volume or something and then we could go back as well so that is looking very nice but still the menu looks kind of bland right so what we can do is let's go ahead and add some parallax to make it a bit more lively so let's go ahead and do when i receive when i receive menu we'll do a forever right go to x and y and then we'll put two multiplication signs inside of here and then do mouse x mouse y and then times like point 0.1 and then we'll also broadcast menu at the beginning of the game broadcast menu so our, our parallax kind of works because it's uh it only works in the middle though right so so just an easy fix for that is just to make uh inside of the menu the sprite menu we could just make it go up and to the left so boom okay we have to move it just like a bit down there's a lot of trial and error right like that boom we have like a parallax effect all right so nice we have ourselves two buttons a nice main menu uh we got ourselves uh we could play the game right if we click the play button and in the settings button we can change settings that you guys can add here nice so guys that is pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you all in the next one but until then peace out